Welcome to my 6am gym morning routine and mic'd up upper body workout. The first thing I like to do after waking up is hydrate and have my cold water and then I make myself a coffee. I am very new to this whole foaming up my milk and making my coffee look very fancy. It is so pretty and it makes me so happy very basic skincare and brushing my teeth. I just cleanse my face, put my contact lenses in, moisturize, put some SPF on and then I use some hand cream. Then I pick out my legging for the day and get dressed for the gym. Let's get ready together for the gym. I made myself an iced coffee, very much needed. I never wore makeup to the gym just because I didn't want to, because it always felt like I'm just sweating too much. Fast forward to when I started working, I was pretty much forced to do my makeup before the gym. My gym opens at 6 a.m. so I didn't have enough time to do my makeup after my workout. And now that I don't have to do that anymore, I still like to wear makeup to the gym. And I'm gonna let you know why I like it. For the past years, especially during all the lockdown, I was at home all the time. I know a lot of people say when they're working from home, get ready, get dressed, do your makeup. And I was always like, I'm not gonna do my makeup if I'm just at home. Something that I realized when I started working was, I do feel so much better if I have my makeup done and if I'm wearing clothes, like actual clothes. And even though at the moment I'm working from home, and I don't have to go anywhere, I notice the difference so much when I'm putting on makeup and I'm getting dressed compared to when I'm just in sweats and not wearing makeup. And I never thought that I was that person. I was always like, no, it doesn't make a difference. I can still be productive when I'm not wearing makeup, when I'm in my sweats, and yes, you can. But there's just something about getting ready in the morning, wearing your makeup, wearing an outfit. It just makes you more confident, makes you feel better. I don't do my makeup every time I go to the gym and I don't wear makeup every day. It's just not for me because then I get annoyed if I have to do my makeup every day, let's be real. I also fell in love with the process of doing my makeup again because now I just sit here in my vanity, I watch a YouTube video, it's like hanging out with a friend, have my coffee maybe, and it's just such a relaxing process. And it's like 10, 15 minutes of me time before the day starts. It doesn't have to be this extreme thing that takes forever, like literally do your makeup for 10 minutes, put on a cute outfit, and it can make your day so much better just. I don't know. If you've never tried it, try it for a week if you like it. That's what I sometimes like to do. If I'm like, ah, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm not sure if I like that. Let's try it. Let's try it as a new habit for a week and see if I like it. If I don't like it, I can still stop, you know? Okay, let me do my eyebrows off camera because this takes, this takes way too long. Way too long. I think I was talking the entire time with my makeup on my lips. I'm so sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to wipe it off. I know it drives some people crazy when you have foundation on your lips. Eyebrows are done, which is a miracle because it was fast. <laughs> Last step, we're already done. Where's my lash curl? Oh, lash curler. I use this mascara from Essence, which is a lash princess. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. And I know everybody uses the, the blue one, which I also have, but I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of it. I tried it for a while. I think I like the purple one more, I don't know. So, makeup is done. Now we need to do something with the hair. So I thought I cannot pull off a slick back bun or any slick back hairstyle pretty much, but I've been obsessed with it, especially since realizing it saves me two to three days before I can wash my hair because I can just wear them back in a slick bun, slick ponytail, <laughs> and they can look greasy. Like That's the best thing that could ever happen. I have this hair wax stick, which is not as extreme as the gels that some people are using, but I do prefer this because I feel like it doesn't stick really my hair. Like it's not super sticky and I feel like it's not damaging. It's very easy to brush afterwards. First thing is I make a ponytail and then I just twist it and then I just wrap it around deodorant and a little bit of perfume. Oh, I should clip off the mic, right? And we are done, ready for the gym. <laughs> I take my Stanley cup to the gym because I just absolutely love it because my water stays cold. I love carrying it around the gym. I always feel very cute. I fill it up with another water bottle. Reason is I don't like tap water. It's too warm for me. So I always have cold water in the fridge and I don't have one of these cool water things where you just have water in your fridge. And then I take this very random <laughs> ugly cup where I put in my pre-workout because I need my pre-workout before my workout. A little bit of water, just 
mixing it a bit. So I train first thing in the morning and I don't want to train fasted, but I also don't want to have my breakfast right after waking up. So what I like to have is just a banana. <laughs> so first exercise are some pull-ups. Actually, they're chin-ups technically. So pull-ups are like this and chin-ups are like this. For the longest time, I thought I cannot do a pull-up. And then one day I was like so frustrated because I was like, I have been going to the gym for years. No way I cannot do a pull-up. And I was like, I'm just gonna try it. And I tried it and I literally, I did, I did one rep, like one and a half. And ever since then, I do them with a band, like assisted, because then I can do a little bit more reps. I do three sets until failure, which for me is like, like four reps, five reps max. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but I have a bench here because I am too small and otherwise I, I, I don't reach a thing up there. So I just wrap this around, that's it. Then it's always a little bit awkward to get into this thing for whatever reason. One, oh my gosh, it's hard. Two, three, four, one more. They're so hard to do and for what? reason for what reason second set that last one counted as four okay it's about the effort it's about the effort okay last set we're channeling all our chin up energy okay free it was free only free next exercise is one of my absolute favorites and that is a lat pull down i like to start with a lighter weight because then i feel like i have more of a mind to muscle connection instead of starting with a very heavy weight and just kind of like swing it i have my thumbs pointing outwards shoulders back squeeze going back up again squeeze slowly going back up again until you feel that stretch Three, four, five, eight. Now we're doing a little bit heavier weight, which also means using lifting straps. I like to use wristing straps. I like to use wristing straps. When I do an exercise, whether it's lat pull down, RDLs, whatever movement it is, where I feel like I can do more weight, but my wrists cannot hold it anymore. In the beginning, I always felt bad for using lifting straps because, you know, some people say that your wrists are getting weaker and that you don't strengthen them. But I'm not here to strengthen my wrists. I'm here to strengthen my back. So no bad feelings about using lifting straps. Second set. Let's do this. One. Three. Oh my gosh, okay, two more, two more. <laughs> Even if my form isn't 100% on my last two to three reps, I still like to take heavier weight because you can still feel how your back or whatever exercise you're doing is burning, as long as you don't hurt yourself, obviously, because then you get used to it and after a while you can do eight reps easily and then you move on to the next weight. Next we have a superset, which I love doing on an upper body day because you can do more exercises in a very short time. We're doing straight cable arm pull downs and then we do face pulls, so both on the cable machine because I feel like it makes more sense to do two exercises right on the cable machine instead of doing something else. We're doing both exercises, two sets, 10 reps and because it is a superset, we don't take a rest in between the exercises but after finishing both exercises. Standing a little bit more away. Pull this down and you can really feel it in your back muscle. Wow, this is very heavy. Squeeze. Going back up again. Squeeze. I like to do the face pulls sitting and you pull towards your, what is it called? Oh my gosh. Squeeze until you can feel the back shoulders going back up again stretch squeeze second set again 10 reps two squeeze five six nine and no rest in between the exercises, straight to the face pulls. And squeeze. Three, five, 
Six. Nine. Ten. Next we have shoulder presses. I, I love any shoulder exercise. I love shoulders in general. I don't have a push and a pull split at the moment where I have one day for my back and biceps and one day for my shoulders, chest, triceps because I'm only working out three times a week, unfortunately. So I have one leg day, one upper body day where I do back and shoulders and everything pretty much combined. And then I have a separate day where I do full body. It's not the perfect split, but honestly, I feel like I do have more energy on the three days when I'm working out and I didn't lose any gains. So. If you're short in time, three days a week work perfectly fine. Okay, let's do this. I am not very strong on my shoulder presses, not gonna lie. I'm only taking this 12.5 kgs. I'm working on it. One, two, three. Seven. Eight. I am leaning a little bit backwards with the bench. You can also sit more straight upwards, which I did for the longest time, but I feel like I prefer it like this. Also, I'm not doing it like this, like my shoulder presses. I have my elbows a little bit more in the front to not hurt my shoulders. Go back up. And then coming here, down, in front, slightly in front, not here. Here. In shoulder presses, I like to do three sets, eight reps. <laughs> but if I cannot make it to the eight reps, because I really like to push myself with this exercise, I'm aiming for as much as I can, so pretty much until failure. Taking one to two minutes to rest in between the sets, and then we're going straight into the second set. One, two, three. <laughs> Six. Two more. Two more. Seven. Oh my gosh, I really thought I wouldn't make it. Ah! Last set. Five. Oh my gosh, please, 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 please. No. Okay, five. Five it is. Okay, now we're doing a little bit of biceps and we're doing a superset because then we're saving time and your biceps is gonna burn and fall off after this. So we're doing regular curls and then moving straight into hammer curls. Only taking the 7.5 kg, which I don't even think I can do, but let's try. I do two sets that aim for eight reps, but I don't think I can do that. Squeeze at the bottom, squeeze your triceps at this position and then Pull up with the biceps. Squeeze. Ooh, oh, 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 these are heavy. Six. Seven. Eight. I don't know if I can do hammer curls at this point anymore. Okay. Three. Two, three more. Four. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do this again. Maybe not braid reps. Okay, let's do this. I don't want to. <laughs> Six. Okay, let's get straight in the hammer calls. Two. Okay. Two more. It's two four. It's two four. Three. Or three. Let's do three. Okay, last exercise. We're doing again a superset, which is my favorite superset of all time because the shoulder pain after this is unreal. I personally love shoulder pain, and we're doing lateral raises straight into front raises. Eight reps, two sets, and we're doing eight reps lateral and then eight reps front. And after this, your shoulders are gonna be on fire. Six, seven, eight. Let's see if we can do the front raises with the same weight. Okay, last set. I thought we're doing this a little bit from the side so that you can see the angle better. One, two, three. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, slowly back down. Your pinky should be going upwards. Like. Uh. 
Oh my gosh, okay, that was, that, that was, that was not a good rep. Uh, I don't think I can do the front raises with the 5kgs. Let's try, let's try. No, no. With the front raises, don't try to swing them. Really stand in your position and only move your arms. Squeeze. Go back down. Squeeze. And with the lateral raises, instead of doing them like straight to the side, a little bit in the front, like so. And this finger should be going outwards, like you're pouring something out. Squeeze. And then going back down again. What a good session. Honestly, I wasn't feeling it today in the morning when I woke up. I was like, I'm so tired. I couldn't fall asleep yesterday, which is the story of my life. I barely knew where I was when I woke up today in the morning. I underestimated so much how much better I feel after workout. On Monday, I had a leg day. I woke up and I was doing so bad mentally. I was crying. I didn't know why. I was upset. I was I, I had no idea what was going on. And then I went to the gym and it was gone. It doesn't do that every time, okay? There are days where I don't feel good after I went to the gym. But most days, most days, I do feel so much better. I'm not gonna go home. Walk Bowie. I sometimes like to do this before I work out, depending on when I work out. Like if I work out later, I walk him first thing in the morning. But if I go to the gym very early, like today, I walk him afterwards. He's anyways not a morning dog. So anything after 8 a.m. is good for him. Then he's a little bit more awake and <laughs> excited for his walk and his breakfast, of course. <laughs> For my breakfast, I'm having a smoothie. Hear me out. I was never a smoothie gal, okay? I was never obsessed with smoothies. I never had a proper smoothie phase. I was always like, I need to eat something in the morning. I wanna, I wanna have something that I can eat, that I can chew. I made a video, like a meal prep video. I'm gonna pop it on the screen. Where I made this coffee banana protein smoothie. And this has been my breakfast obsession ever since. I wanna have this every day. I am craving this. I want this more than any fast food or anything, which sounds weird, but this is like the best thing I ever had in my entire life. And it's not just me, it's also my boyfriend. We are both so obsessed with this movie. We literally crave this. We're looking forward in the evening to have this in the morning. And what I love about this is that I have protein powder in my smoothie. I usually have a protein shake right after my workout, but now I have my protein powder in my smoothie so I can have my breakfast and my protein shake in one. I like to meal prep my smoothie because then it gets this very thick, like, can you see that? It has this very thick consistency and it just gets cold and everything blends together so well and Ah, it's, it's a joy every day. Usually, lately, I would have this on my balcony outside, enjoy the sun for a little bit, but unfortunately, it's very gloomy and it looks like it's about to rain every minute. That's fine because it's very cozy weather. After that, I'm just gonna start editing and do some work and that is pretty much my morning routine. Please subscribe if you want to see more workout videos or food videos and if the video like, if you enjoyed it, this would help me a lot because then other people can also find my videos. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!